Hi guys, in this session we are going to discuss about storage integration. Generally, when we create the stages, we use this kind of syntax. Create or replace stage, stage name and we need to provide the location on S and we need to provide here our security credentials. This is how we create stages. Later we use this stage to load the files into the tables in real time. So generally we should not provide the credentials. Providing the security credentials in the stage definition is not at all good. That's why there is an alternative instead of giving these security credentials, we can use storage integration. So what is storage integration? Storage integration is a Snowflake object which helps us to connect to the AWS account from Snowflake. Storage integration uses the mechanism called IAM service to knock the AWS. So if you create a stage using storage integration, later when you are using this stage to copy your files or to export the data from Snowflake to somewhere in the stage location, storage integration is going to work. So to create this storage integration, make it functional in real time, cloud administrators will help us to do that. But as a Snowflake person, we should be aware of how to create the storage integration and how to use it. To create the storage integration, we need to follow these eight steps. The first step is we need to log in into AWS console and take the IAM service. Here in the IAM, we are creating a role and to that role, we are assigning needed right so let's start working on the first three steps let me go to aws console i already logged into my aws account then go to iam service as i specified here create a role go and click on the roles create role take the second option so if you are going to use this role in third party accounts not in the aws services so we are going to use in Snowflake. It is a third party service. That's why we need to choose this option, the second one and come down and this is your account. Keep this option as it is and click on the require external ID and do here some dummy number. Click on next. In this page, you can select the rights or privileges that you want to assign to the role you are creating. So my purpose is a storage integration which should access my S3 location. So what I need is access to the S3 locations. So I am choosing Amazon S3 full access. Then say next and give a name to the role that you are creating. So I will give storage integration for Snowflake. SISF and say create role. SISF role is created. Then click on the view role for the details and copy this ARN. So what is ARN? Amazon resource name. It is a unique identifier for the selected services. It means what we have selected, we have selected access to S3. So using this particular ARN, you can only perform operations on S3. We are going to use IAM role to connect to the AWS from Snowflake. Let's go back to our web interface. Now the fourth step is keep your Snowflake storage integration definition ready. So this is the syntax to create storage integration. Create or replace storage integration. We need to provide the name and then and provide the mandatory information that is type is equal to external stage. We don't have other option at this point of time. So we have only one value that we can specify is external stage. Storage provider, it is S3. Storage AWS role ARN. You have copied the ARN, right? You place it here. And by default, you want to enable? Yes, true. And here you can specify the locations which are allowed to access using this storage integration. And the other hand, you can specify what are all the locations you want to block for this storage integration. So I want to block getting into this particular folder. Then as specified in the step number six, create the storage integration, execute the create statement. Storage integration got created. Now as specified in step seven, do describe, describe storage integration and do the name, run this state. Now what is the next step? Next step is we need to configure the role using the snowflake generated keys. So these are the snowflake generated keys. Okay. Let's copy the IAM user. You have created the role. Snowflake has created a user to use that particular role. Okay. It means 
Snowflake has created a user dynamically and this particular user is going to use this role which you have created. Okay, copy this and go to roles and search for the role that you have created. I have created the role SISF and click on it. Go to trust relationships, edit trust policy and place the user ARN which you have copied from Snowflake and then copy the external ID. Paste here and say update policy. Then go to your web interface. Let's create a stage. This time we are using storage integration which we have created. Create or replace stage, stage name. This is my URL and I am giving the storage integration name. Stage got created. Let me create a table and select from the table it has zero records okay i have a file called dpt.csv in this location i want to load that file into this table okay so i am using the copy command copy into table name and it, it has columns department number d name and location and column one column two column three from this particular stage and this is the path and this is the file name and and here i am providing file format name so let's go and check whether this file exists on the stage or not Go to your S3. Go to your S3 bucket. FKPII inbound. This is the file I want to load. Let's come back to web interface. Now run this copy command. The file has four records and four records got loaded. Now you can check the data. What we have learned in this session is creating stages using storage integration and using that stage to load the data into a given table. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing this channel and take care.